Scott, what does the uh, monument look like? Um, it's like two feet high, an obelisk, uh, white. Should be really easy to find. Hey everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Terrace, back with you, and we are on the road with Karen behind the camera, and today we're at Fort Liberty uh, at their main post cemetery. It's open to the public, uh, 365 days a year, 8 to 5. So just come on through the gates, walk up seven rows, and who do we have here uh, at number 780-B? That would be none other than Martha Ray. Now, if you're of a certain age, you might remember Martha Ray. She started in the 30s, and she was uh, had a wonderful career for five decades. She was a singer, she was an actress, she was on stage, television, movies. She did it all. But she had a, an interesting moniker. They used to call her the Big Mouth, and that's because not that she was boisterous or loud, but physically her mouth was large as compared to her head. Uh, for my money, I always thought Carol Channing had the large mouth, but you know, I digress. So, she started in roughly around 1932. That was her first movie, starring opposite of Bing Crosby. And for the next 25 years, she starred opposite such uh, A-listers as Bob Hope, W.C. Fields, Abbott and Costello, Joe E. Uh, Brown, just a whole host of stars for 25 years. When she transitioned into television, she was on episodes of Murder, She Wrote, uh, um, Alice, Andy Griffith's show, Macmillan and Wife. She made appearances in a wide variety of television shows. In fact, for a couple of years, she had her own Martha Ray show. Now, she may have had a great career over the five decades, but she was not so lucky in the Department of Love. She uh, endured seven marriages, some of them as little as a month. Uh, she had one daughter um, who uh, uh, she was estranged from. And uh, her final husband was about three decades younger than her, Mark Harris. Uh, he was an interesting fellow. Obviously, she um, was undergoing some health problems in her last years and she decided to get to Mark Harris uh, for a number of reasons, I guess. But the Washington Post put it best. I, I need to read it to make sure I get this right. Mark Harris, uh, to describe him, was a fame-obsessed, pinky-ringed, liposuction bisexual who was known to prey on older, wealthy divas with equal parts devotion and disdain. We're not going to judge anybody, but that was uh, the end of Martha's romantic life. She died at age uh, late 70s. Uh, the official reason was pneumonia at Cedar sinai Medical Center. But she had actually suffered a series of strokes and circulatory problems. I know that she had at least uh, one leg was amputated below the knees. She was just having a lot of problems. But she had a great career, and you know, I'm gonna stop. I know what you're asking. Scott, you didn't answer the big question. 
why are we in this beautiful military cemetery and here's Martha Ray? Well, Martha Ray, it says right there, civilian. And she's, when you see that, there's always a backstory. And her backstory is in 1942, when the U.S. entered into World War II, she began a USO tour and she literally never stopped. The, if, the, if the USO and the armed services need her to entertain the troops or be there to rally and support, she was there. She got a, a Congressional Medal of Freedom from President Clinton at the time. She was very, very well respected in the service. And they even uh, gave her uh, the opportunity to be buried in Arlington in Washington Cemetery. But she wanted to come here to then Fort Bragg because this is where the Army Special Services was and she, they held a special place in her heart. So I think it's just a real tribute that she's buried here and she was a really fun, great entertainer and just did a heck of a job for the servicemen. If you have any questions about Martha and her career, my name is Scott Stan. I am the original Tombstone Tourist. Come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com and we will get you everything, including directions right to this grave, because there's a lot of similar looking monuments. Have yourself a great day. My job here is done.